Planet Coaster 2 is just about to release and it will be packed with 5 amazing teams. In today's video, I want to talk about those teams and why they are perfect for Planet Coaster 2. I only want to talk about 4 teams today, I know there are 5, but because the 5th one is the Planet Coaster team that was already there in Planet Coaster 1. And so I'm planning to do a video where I will compare how the theme has evolved between the two games. But for that, I need the game to release, so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Anyway, let's talk about the four new teams and why they're such perfect addition to the game. And something we can do, we will be able to do in them. And but I'm not fo I'm only focusing on the building piece and won't focus on the mascot today because even if all of those masco mascots are great, I really want to talk about the building part of the game because I think it's the most important. And let's start with the big one, the colorful aquatic team. Personally, it's my favorite team from all of the five. And this is also the first team that was revealed alongside the resort team. The aquatic set is actually not one, but two sets in one. And that is a big thing because we have the deep set with all those beautiful purple rocks that are recolorable, coral and underwater building and submarine pa parts for such good thing and that alone, that's a treasure for, for creativity. And between the iconic animatronics like the singing hills or the fish beast and the rest, I think this set is perfect for team parks and water parks alike. But also, oh, the spy pipes and the submarine parts, the lamps, oh, this will be so versatile and those will be used everywhere. Because let's be honest, deep sea building and deep space building are not that far visually. And as we saw in the deep dive tree when we, they talk about the management part of the game, it was more in a sci-fi setting. And yet this set is perfect for sci-fi, the pipe can be used every everywhere for steampunk, generic, anything. Anything and those metallic parts will also be fun to use in any scenario, especially if you want to do some realistic building. But that's only one half of the aquatic team. But that's not all, I only talk about one half of that set and the other half is more of an above water set, more like an upper team with a lot of industrial pieces, some great great, but also including, and that's most of that set, a bigger variety of corrugated metal pieces than those we had in Plant Custom 1 in the western team and those corrugated metal pieces will have such a large range of building style from generic to steampunk to of course the underwater of course it can be used in western post apocalyptic and everything in between and so on and especially when we mix and match the different team together we've just talked about a fifth of what will come at launch and it's already so much and even just that team alone, it will be so good and we will be able to do so many things with just one team. Like the aquatic team, the brand new resort team was announced at the same time during the reveal trailer and Frontier really cooked with that one because once again they added two building sets in one team so first we have what i call the tiki team so if you like touch wood and cocktail this team is for you 
as more of a bitch ever. Vibe and this building set come with some interesting wooden bamboo pieces that are all recolorable, as was shown in the pre-order trailer. And those pieces, I think, will be used everywhere. First, the tax rocks are recolorable, as we saw in one of Frontier last video, and this side so making some very cool tropical builds. It's also perfect for anything pirate or my dev medieval. Uh, anything like that. And also the set is home to a great palette of lamps, planters, decals and posters that will really add a lot of life to your parks. But there's also the other half of the resort theme, the modern resort theme. And Holy Cosmic Cow, this theme rocks. The modern set truly great, truly have great piece to build anything that you want. Want and it will match perfectly with the Planko theme. theme and it will have a big range from retro futuristic theme, 50s diner, now something more modern and what great of, with it and is that we have a large collection of sang piff with some unique shape to expand the basic shape library and also we have a lot of scaffolding part because it's more like a, a facade so we can can do those big scaffolding and facade like we did with the what what was it again? Yes, the the studio pack DLC. Except I think it's done way more better. And also we have a lot of vehicle like the buggy and also the tuk tuk for the shop. And before I look at the other two them, I wanted to ask you to leave a like if you like the video because if this video reached 25 like. I will make a video on how the 5 original Planet Coaster team fit with the new game. The mythology theme is one theme that at first could look very niche with its those Greek inspired bi builds, but already there's a team synergy even before we talk about it in depth. And having some mythological build with the corals and rocks of the aquatic team, and boom! You've got an Atlantis team. So the team consists of la large marble piece pieces coming in all shape and form, in color, column, anything that you need to do some Greek inspired mythology theme. And like I said, come with all sort of fantastical marble piece that once again can be recolored and could really work for all sort of build from of course Greek team but also some adventure team and so much architectural style from around the world and I think this team will get some very creative use and those bu building also come with amazing roof piece that I'll as always recolorable and come in a normal and a, ro and a golden variant and those, ro those roof will also be used everywhere but what I but beside what I love the most about this pack are the props from the different pots and statues but also all the shade cover the the drapes and, and everything all of those will be used in so many parts because yet they, they look like mythology team but once again in the right context they will just look in the style that you need and that is great and also there's a lot of interesting bot and bot building part and those will be perfect with the last team that will come at long launch beside the planet coaster theme that I haven't talked about the viking team. The viking team, a very big team with a lot of wooden and stuff pi pieces of course it's viking and so much to say about it. First, like I was talking before with the mythological theme, this team will match perfectly with it because we have lots of boats and harbor park perfect for both team and also a pirate team and more. So let's talk about the build set. 
it's coming with some very interesting, interesting stone piece, but also a huge variety of wooden piece with a few unique textures that will complement well with the resort piece from the ge from generic to modern with anything thing that would need some wood like western, medieval, fanta fantasy and yeah even everything that needs wood the v viking and resort theme will be perfect with each other and also what's interesting beside those amazing wooden piece and stone piece we so much it's also the roof piece we have some very nice roof, roof and windmill base pe that are really interesting because they both come in grid pieces but also in non-gridded pieces so they can be scaled using the new scaling feature of Plant Coaster 2 and also the windows are really great they have some great shapes and will also be used in a lot of creative way I think and speaking of windmill, another rank of the Viking theme, I think, are the different rotating windmill, but also the met there's a lot of metal and wooden ge gear, a nice collection that will be perfect for any simple big build or any mechanism that you want to make. But where I think the team truly shine is in the large quantity of fantastical props, ranging from shields and weapons and anvil and but what I think will be used the most the collection of crates barrel but also all the market pieces like the apple pile and so much more it will be so fun to use and we will see so many creative uses so what did I want to to say when talking about all of those team and a versatile here is, is that even if they seem quite a bit specific, those teams were really made with care, care in a way that they will be so creative and useful. And also don't forget that I did this video when we don't even have access to the game and I still managed to find so many nice and creative pieces and we didn't even see half of how much content those teams are packed with. And so I think Plant Coaster 2 will come with the perfect selection of teams because even if they look niche from far, those teams are so versatile and will are much more complete than the one in Planet Coaster 1. Especially with the new scanning feature, don't forget we have that. And also the custom animatronic pieces, we can now make custom animatronics and this will also help so much. And even if there's some piece of him that could and will be added in the future, I think the creative of the, the creativity of the player base will break those gaps and prove how much those teams were good tries from Frontier. Anyway, my name was Miss Barbar. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Planet Coaster 2 content. And if you like what you saw, leave a thumbs up because when we reach 25 likes on this video, I will make a video on how the 5 original Planet Coaster team fit with the new theme. I hope you had a great time. See you in next week and bye!